from the outside, this structure would easily pass for a mad world house. But a closer look reveals a different picture. Here, we are greeted with shells with bags containing mushrooms. Yes, this is James Karanja's mushroom farm, a venture he began immediately after graduating with a degree in statistics. I began sometime in July 2013. So I wanted something that was not so obvious to anyone, not so many people were doing it. To begin, James raised 230,000 shillings in capital from family and friends to grow mushrooms on an eighth of an acre piece of land at his parents' home in Limuru. James grows the button variety of mushrooms. You want to utilize the vertical space because they don't grow tall. Plus also you plant them in bags because if contamination occurs in one bag, you can remove and dispose of that. His production costs, which largely entail labor and basic farm inputs, ranges between 100,000 shillings and 150,000 shillings. It takes about 11 weeks for mushrooms to mature. Mushrooms do not do well in non-sterile environments, so you have to limit movement in and out of the houses. Despite the intricacies of mushroom farming, James enjoys the returns from his venture, having harvested the crop four times now. A kilogram of mushrooms currently goes for 600 shillings. If you do a thousand bags in, one, in a single room, that is enough to give you close to two tons of produce. Going with the average price of about 600 a kilo, two tons would translate to close to 1.2 million. Mushroom farming may look like a very complicated venture as it requires a lot of attention. But according to James, all that one needs to have is the right kind of information to make it big in an area that has been dominated by large-scale producers. According to official statistics from the National Farmers Information Service, Kenya produces 500 tons of mushrooms annually against an annual demand of 1,200 tons. And with 95% of the current output coming from large-scale producers, the space is still wide open for small-scale farmers to venture in to meet the unfulfilled demand. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.